Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 a double header. Hey, it were. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be playing Shadow of the Beast 1 and 2 by Psygnosis. Psygnosis? Why am I playing them in the same video? Well, it's kind of like ripping off a band aid, or for those of us in the United Kingdom, a plaster. Let's just get it over and done with at once. I played this game on the Spectrum. I played it on the Commodore, but you may not have seen it yet because it's unlisted. I've played it on the Lynx. It's one of those games back in the day when it originally came out on the Amiga that blew everyone away with its graphics and its music. But ultimately, it's not very good a game, and it's unnecessarily hard for its own good. Why that is, I don't know. We'll get into it. But I wanted to do it on the Mega Drive because it's certainly... Oh, I've got a Master System version as well. And it certainly is a very good-looking game. The music's not up to the quality and standard of the Amiga. But ultimately, it suffers the same fault. It was all the Shadow of the Beast game. And then I found out there was a sequel, which, my God, I just played. And I'll play in the second half of this video. And to say that is an absolute bucket full of bollocks is an understatement. But we will get to that in the second half of the video. That makes this game look freaking majestic anyway so some evil bloke or ex master turns you in a beast into a beast and so you go across the land trying to find him to kill him and reverse it or something like i don't know watch my original video on the spectrum if you want the story I've played it so many times i can't really be asked to um do it but yeah let's go into the options yeah like i said the music doesn't stand a chance against Emilia, but it's not terrible i think i'm on normal and i should have said it to easier right don't go this way as i found out look at it graphically very nice so many levels of parallax eye candy to be sure punch jump um oh look a blimp hey there blimpy boy fly through the air so fancy free point to the quote oh i've got kick as well no the thing is it scrolls like the harry clappers so wait for it there we go oh, got it where's my health top left then there'll be another one from the front. Bat. It's too quick. It, it is too... Oh, you're dark. Yeah, it's too bloody quick for its own good. It's like, I look... This is what I was going to say. I look so absolutely fantastic. Everyone will be lost in the world of graphics. And I'll easily overlook how we kind of fudge the gameplay. Yeah, got you, baddie boy. Oh. Not him. Like I said, the music's not terrible. It's pretty good. This doesn't hold a fart to you, Amiga. Alright, in. See, I know this now from every other gameplay I've done when people say they've done go right and left. So now it gives us a little bit of story to make it all exciting. Uh, I first played this on the Atari ST on my brother's. Oh, no, hang on. Winding staircase descends into darkness. Pausing for a while. To allow you to catch up with the slow, bloody moving text. To allow your eyes to adjust. Uh, you make your way down the steps, which seem to deteriorate. I'll skip to the end. So again, it looks lovely. Multiple levels of parallax, even though we're underground. Watch this. Why? Why? He's been a while, smoke burning hair. I can't go anywhere near that steps where it takes me back up and calls me pussy. But what is the point of that flame? There. Now, don't try and jump that because you will fall and you'll hit spikes and die, then it's game over. I mean, lives? What are lives? Well, we're going, we don't need lives. It's just unnecessarily hard. Now, maybe that's me complaining? I don't know. I just don't think stuff needs to be this unforgiving. Like I said, why put all the effort into the graphics and then at the last minute just think, oh, fuck it, we forgot the gameplay, but we'll chuck it out anyway. I'd love to know what you think on this version or, you know, the Amiga and the Atari ST. Again, look at that. They look lovely, but how underwhelming do they die? And do they just keep coming? I've got a score, which is nice to know, but yeah, what do you think of it? I mean, it's a looker on everything, even on the Spectrum, even on the uh, Atari Lynx, to be fair. The Amiga's probably still with Daddy. Oh, but yeah. Well, look, pan flute. You know you're in for trouble when you hit pan flute. But I don't, I don't get it. Like, or maybe, it, no, it wasn't a simpler time back then, because there were games on the Spectrum and playability-wise made this look pants. Are there big fat bosses to fight? 
Oh, well that answers that question, doesn't it? Is it a boss? I don't know. I'm going down. No! It's a boss. How do I fight him? Like that. What? Cough underwhelming much. But one one death and then you ready? I'm not gonna put my initials in because you won't let me spell something like piss off, you broken game. Right, so there you go, one life. What? One life. Right, don't press start. Press a button, press select. Shit balls. I wanted to set it to easier, which isn't much easier, but it's certainly not as balls hard as normal is, and then there's a relentless, which you just don't need. Where are you? And then he's even hit or miss when you can trap them to stop them killing you, even though you know they're coming. There's so much wrong with this game, yet it's considered a classic. How oh, I consider it a classic, so I should shut up, shouldn't I? But, oh, and you bat turd. See what I did there? Yeah, and no, that was all funny. All right, I'm just going to keep going. Then I think if you keep going past the point you should go, does it just punish you relentless, or is it just, nope. Nope, end of the playfield, because you can go right at the start. You can go right. You don't want to. You might see more shit than you do if you go down here. I may sound like I'm being a bit harsh on it, but I just, I ultimately find this one of those games that is considered to be, you know, a bit of a classic, ultimately shallow and pants. Yeah, they got a sequel. It would sell, though, wouldn't it? You just see the magazines with screenshots like this and just go, oh my god, it's like wiping your ass with a £20 note. I've got to fucking get it. And then the disappointment was set in, but at that point it didn't matter because your sales had racked up. Now, I'm not going to go for the boss, but I do wish I could show you a bit more because I don't know how else it looks after this. Well, that pillar was going to stop me. Don't trust bridges. That's all I'm going to say. I don't... See? Now, tree coming down. There's no sort of logic to the way it just decides to punish you. I mean, I know I'm a beast, so therefore everyone hates me. Underwhelming deaths. Are you not learning from the five people in front of you I killed bloke at the back that possibly this is not the greatest strategic plan in the world? Just saying. What do I know? I'm a beast. Oh, what's that over there? Is that something or are you just going to kill me? Punish my curiosity. It's nothing. Yeah, maybe I should get a white stick. Oh, what? Am I supposed to do something here? I mean, there is no denying graphically. It's the looker. What am I? I don't know. Are you just like a trick? I'm going to fly and kick your ass after I get rid of the burnt fur. No, it does nothing. Now, you're all probably screaming at this. and you might, Maybe you think it's an amazing game, saying, Dave, what the hell? I stand by my resolute of being shit at it and also thinking it's shit. Can I go that way? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, I turned into the dog from Churchill. Oh no, 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 no. Yes. Positives? It looks lovely. Are the positives? I got nothing. I got something. There. I don't know what it is. But now I'm all the way back to the top. The pamphlet. It just disappeared. Run away. See, there's no real pattern to the, the, the bad guys and shit as well. Right, was this the bit where I said, oh, no, 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 no. Gosh, hang on. Oh, no, it's different. It's different. It's all very much rinse and repeat, isn't it? Still positives. It looks lovely. Just keep telling yourself that if you drop what was it, 29 quid back in the day on the Amiga? Possibly it was going to be 34.99 on the Mega Drive, wasn't it? 29.99 on the Master System, which looks lovely as well. I've got gameplay. Oh, it's got. Oh, crazy. Oh! Right, 
we're gonna go right just so you can see something different which is the wrong way I am aware it's the wrong way how do I change my difficulty I don't want to press I swear to god it let me change it once I'm gonna write I'm gonna write okay just want to see something different as well go in there but there's no point because it's locked at the bottom don't hurry. It's a mad thing. Look, I'm going even faster than I did the first trip. Look! I see Dope Test the Beast. He's been holding out on us. Now, is it just doing this because we should not be going this way? Or maybe you do this way after you've done down the cave. I don't know. Look how fast he's going. Maybe it's because there's no trees in the back. Oh, yes, yeah, this bit. Shit out the floor. Sorry about your balls. Oh, 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 take that mad balls from the 80s. Are we in the 80s when this came out in the Amiga? Like 1989 or something? Look. Hidden tree monsters. This is Save the Planet Brigade, led by Bill Oddy. Holds up middle finger. Save this. Oh, look. I freed you. You're welcome. What? Positives. It looks lovely. Where's my elf? Oh, uh, well, there you go. Ultimately, fantastically good looking. Just a bit of a stinker when it comes to gameplay. I said, are you ready to see worse? I shit you not. Let's take a look. It's Shadow of the Beast 2. I only just found out it's a thing. So here we go, this is Shadow of the Beast 2, or oh, it often refers to itself as, as does the first game, Beast. Not sure why, not sure why I put the word Shadow on the box, but not on the title screen. Originally released on the Amiga in 1990, uh, developed by Reflections, but released by Cygnosis, uh, and ported to the Mega Drive in 1992. There's a Mega CD version, apparently. Now, in researching this to get you a little bit of story, and literally a little bit of story is all you're going to get, I found out that... This, got, this game here got rated 5 out of 5 by like the Amiga magazines, as did the original, 5 out of 5. And I think it's considered the 76th best game of all time, possibly the 76th best Amiga game of all time. Uh, and then I find out that the Mega Drive version, uh, the North American version, the Genesis version, which possibly was that one I was playing, because this is a ROM, <clears throat> runs too fast, making it brutal and unplayable. Well... That might be the case, so I was a little bit harsh on it, but I'm going to, and taste is subjective when it says it's the 76th best Amiga game of all time, but I'm going to go with my subjective taste and say, I'm sorry, I still think it's incredibly overrated. Uh, not just because of how far we come with games now. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I thought I should point that out in case I'm sure many of you are screaming at the first half of the video saying it's the Mega Drive version or Genesis version is running too fast, in which case you probably didn't even get to this half. But hey, um, so in this one, you're stuck in half beast form and you are, same bloke, Arboron, uh, and you're wandering the lands of Karamoon, yep, uh, looking for your sister, who was taken away from your mother's cottage by the dragon form of Beast Mage. Beast Mage and Shadow of the Beast and Beast, I guess that all refers to the bad guy, not you being stuck in Beast form. And that's pretty much it. Uh, graphically, well, have a look. It's this game where you can make it easiest, which is what I shall be doing. Right, and start. Here we go. Half human form. Got a yo-yo. Now, don't know what that does. Got to jump. Now, off the bat, animation, lovely and stuff like that. The first thing I want to say is I can work out if it's really nice graphics or really bad. Because it looks really nice and all of a sudden when you find stuff... See if I can find stuff. It looks really bad. Uh, you may not enter our wood. Leave now or you force us to track. Look at him. Ow. Now, here's the problem. How far? I can't turn around properly when I'm firing. Hey, tickler. Can't fire up. Basically, it doesn't have uh, Riger's controls, which makes it pretty, and maybe it's my first weapon, pretty useless weapon. Graphically nice, nice parallax. Not as much parallax as the first game, but can you argue there is such a thing as too much parallax? And then, then there's the way the enemies come, <clears throat> and the collision detection. Again, it's got five out of five. Maybe I'm looking at it through, you know, positives. I like that noise. Maybe I'm looking at it through, you know, old player eyes. What's that? I can't see, but I can see you. So half the time, they look like bad guys from Chuck Rock. It's, like the first one, quite difficult to avoid being twatted. 
But wait till you see later on when I run to the left. Oh, and maybe this bit. Flat. It's got the power of flight. Your sprite's too big. And your controls are, well, like I said, they're not Liger, which when you give me a weapon like this, it's kind of a bit meh. But anyway, look, like I said, it looks nice until you see badly drawn bad guys. What's that? Because I'm going behind a rock. Because. Oh. I'm going to adopt the same tactic as the first game. Just bloody run. Ah! I'm assuming bottom right is my health. Look, see then? Look, look, look. Between going between looking lovely and looking like sack. Ooh. Oh, look, it, it moves, which just kind of tears the screen. You look nice, but underwhelming. I'm guessing. Oh, I can go up there. I thought I was going to bounce off the rock. Oh. Again, if you had this back in the day, I might just be a grumpy old mad bastard. Because this is not doing it for me. you got to remember what stellar platformers are out at the time and stuff. Cop Turrican, I'm looking at you. Wait, well, you know, it was hard, but at least you stood a chance. You just keep coming, look. What? Oh, that cut means I'm in a different part of the land. What? One life? Of course, one life. Why, you know, change everything that's wrong with the first game? What a pretty scene of death. Looks like an album cover. Positive? Positive. Oh, I've got to press start. Right. And that was easy. So, yeah. Like I said, maybe I'm being a bitter old bastard. But I'm sorry. This is just as broken as the original. And I've still got more versions of Shadow of the Beast to cover. Right. I'm going this way. Look. Hands. That do dishes for the soft as your face. Point of that quote. Yeah. Because other stuff happens. Big fishes that just keep coming. That ultimately I cannot avoid if I try. Oh no! Bollocks! I'm supposed to save him. I don't know how, because you can't reach the guy at the top. But the reason I'm supposed to save him is the world's most unimpressive, underwhelming, ugly dragon will soon tell me that I'm supposed to save him. I can't progress any further. Hang on, watch this. Ooh, acid kills me, but I can't kill him unless I push him into the acid. Yeah, that's a thing. But then he jump, dart. Oh no, see, he just mixes it up. I don't know what I did, but I'm going to try it in a minute. Spoiling me for things to try. And I lucky. You're lucky you don't have to play this, right? I think that filled my health up, but ultimately I've just cut myself off by, by not, in my defence, it's bloody difficult, by not saving that little thingy, I can't get any further along the floor to the right. I'll show you in a minute, it'll all make sense. No I don't, I'll go down sharp. By doing this. You have to get to the end of the branch before it registers that you want to. Oh, there you go. Uh, you may pass if you prove to be a friend. Rescue my guard from the uh, Ishan and I will help you. Yeah, I got. Well, you see, unimpre unimpressive. I got news for you, mate. There was no. And I mean this. I'm not covering up poor gameplay here. There was nothing. My poor gameplay. There was nothing I could do. Again, I'm sure there are people telling me exactly where I'm going wrong. But hey, it's my gameplay and I'll cry if I want to. Cry bollocks, because that's what this game is. Just go to the right and end my life. Not deliberately, you understand. Positive. Apart from the incredibly small loop, the music's right. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'd emigrate, seriously. You really love your sister that much? Yeah. 
Me not so much. Let's go somewhere else. Right, you may not pass. I already killed you, bloke from uh, Chuck Rock. I just run. Away. See, they just carry on anyway. And he pisses off. Oh, hey, you can slide down. That's a new thing. He's back. Well, you know, it's second gameplay, isn't it? So, yeah, in their defense. Run, run from the owls. Oh, all of the... Oh, oh, am I... Am I still alive? Oh, there you go. I'm washing my loincloth out. You know, when you've... Between this and the last game, start to whiff. Oh, and I'm back to start. Well, there you go. I know it's an incredibly short gameplay, but Shadow of the Beast 1 and Shadow of the Beast 2 out on the uh, Sega Mega Drive. Yes, apparently one is broken. Ooh, never seen a snail before. Oh, can I kill you? He's a good guy. Yeah, uh, maybe that one is a bit broken, so I was a bit harsh on that, but I will say, I think they're just both really underwhelming. Anyway, as always, particularly on these two versions on the Mega Drive, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.